Well, this is Onderon. Looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. We've taken some hits. We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. I remember the days when welcoming committee used to mean something, without being followed by blaster bolts. Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to use our hull for target practice, I doubt they're just gonna forget us. Well, I don't like it. Onderon is about as far from the core as you can get and still be in the Republic. But even out here, the locals have heard of us. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. He fought here once, and there are things here he must see. He fought here? Why didn't he say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget?
Tobin stirred up a Minox nest when he took a shot at us. I'm still working on the repairs, and I have to take down some systems, including sensors. So you have to do without me for a while. I know, you're crushed. Is this? Nos emeregis, wanara gorachi drum ka sa inchobi, terana mo simu enda sa... Terana mo simu enda sa rats, krema su...
Yes? You may ask. She said you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. That is not all she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with them, because you had fallen so far you could no longer feel the Force. So it was a matter of choice, then. If Atris has erred in her evaluation of your motivations, it might be best to inform her. You may ask. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something usually spoken of in the company of others. I do not wish to discuss it. If there is something else you wish to ask, you may do so. There is no need to apologize. You are merely remarking on something that you saw. It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you. You may have. Before entering Atris's service, yes, I carried a name. It is not important. My title and rank is a consequence. We all have value in our oaths to others. When importance is placed on the se- If reasons of the self is why you turned away, then yes, perhaps. I do not know. That is- I meant no offense, but the- You may- It is not possible to die. Yes, but I could. You may have. You let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight.
Statement? Answer. Master, I am worried that... And I do not know where... Answer. Because of my self-preservation program, my behavior core recognizes these templates as still being me, despite their individuality. I could no more shoot them than I could shoot myself. It is a frustrating situation that has been looping through my behavior core for some time. Statement. Ah. Answer. Well, Master, it seems you have become a popular individual in the galaxy. This is somewhat surprising to me, since this dissemination of information could not have been caused by your actions alone. Statement. Master, there is mention of you specifically in the Corward databases, even in public terminals on Coruscant. Observation. I was led to believe that this information concerning Jedi was not for public consumption, yet somehow it has been made known to them. Conclusion. Someone wants everyone to know that you exist, Master, and that you are back in Republic space. If I did not know better, which is computationally impossible, I believe that someone wants to make you a target, and they are succeeding admirably. Answer. Master, my feeling would be the exchange. But that doesn't seem to be enough to answer the question, however. Rhetorical. Why wouldn't they have simply kept... And that is theory. Statement. Answer. My feelings on the matter are something that I feel I must put in proper context. In a way, theory. Imagine, if you will, that you imagine that no one has sunk lower than you. That you are truly the most... Continuation. Now that you have that image, imagine this. Someone clones you. Badly, I might add. They make the clones talk differently, rob you of any shred of personality, and take your Jedi code and adjust it, so that it is not really the Jedi code anymore. They even change your pigmentation to a rather poor shade of Durasteel, rather than the proper rusty red that inspires fear in targets. Indignation. Have you gone? Statement. If Master would just listen to their voices, their voices sound nothing like me. Clarification. Anger. Statement. Part of the indignity of all these. The more people throughout the... Statement. Ah, yes. Them. Very well. What did you wish to know? Answer. I am worried that they're all... And I do not know where... Answer. Because of my self-preservation program, my behavior core recognizes these... I... Query. Answer, Master. State. I would. State. State. Statement. Map one. The probability of them showing up around you is statistically high. If I travel with you, then my chances of encountering these clones is also high. The second reason is a little more complicated. You see, even though those clones are obviously cheap, artless imitators... Answer. Somehow these droids are built from my schematics. This causes certain complications.
answer. Because of my self-preservation program, I, I could know. Statement. And this is...